It was August 10th, 2018. Richard Russell, also known as Bebo, clocked into work at SeaTac Airport at 2.36 p.m. You see him here briefly showing his badge to TSA. He walks through the employee security checkpoint. He's wearing a black t-shirt that says the sky's no limit. He grabs his backpack and continues. After this moment, five hours go by, according to the FBI report. It's unclear what he was doing for this time. Around 7.15 p.m., he arrived with a tow vehicle at the cargo area at the far north end of SeaTac, known as Cargo 1. Air traffic control started to sense something was not right when trying to make contact. The dash eight on runway 16 center, say your call sign. That's Russell on the left side of your screen in the tow vehicle. He's got complete control over the aircraft. You can see him release the plane from the vehicle and the plane starts rolling forward. He really only has a few seconds to start running towards the door of the plane. Watch him as he opens the cabin door and jumps in. He pulls the door back up very quickly. Seattle ground, uh, horizon guy, um, about to take off, it's gonna be crazy. More pilots started to chime in, and then it became clear something was definitely wrong. Tar, you need to call and scramble now. Russell can be seen taking off in this new video. Several angles show the Horizon airplane leaving ground. There's an emergency situation going on, and uh, FAA Tower is not accepting any uh, aircraft right now, not letting anybody depart. While up in the air, Russell continued to radio in. Hey, uh, I found myself in a bit of a predicament. I'm in the air right now and just kind of soaring around. At one point, he said he was going to check out Mount Rainier. Down below, all aircraft held from taking off. Just kind of freezing everybody at the moment. An hour and 13 minutes after taking off, Russell crashed the plane on a remote Pierce County Island, ending one of the most serious domestic airline security breaches since 9-11. The FBI ruled his death a suicide.